Hi guys, so today I'm gonna talk about the ad project that I made and I'll be talking about the theme and the inspiration behind the paintings and the art that I created. So let's get started. Theme. The theme of this art is abstract expressionism, surrealism, and horror. My painting is inspired by Francis Bacon, three studies for figures at the base of crucifixion in 1944 and the painting 1946. This painting is also inspired by Hans Hoffmann, Rising Moon in 1965. It inspired by Francis Bacon reclining figures. Many of Bacon's paintings are inhabited by reclining figures, single or as in triptych. Bacon sometimes used abstract figure to hide nudity in paintings. Francis Bacon's screaming mouth. Bacon described the screaming mouth as a catalyst for his work. He really likes the movement of the mouth and is different in colors. He got inspired by one of the movie too. There was a close-up shot of the screaming woman. Francis Bacon painting 1946. If you look closely in my painting, you will see that I paint a tiny, it's like a painting hanging on the wall of Francis Bacon painting. This painting was painted in 1946, right after World War II. Beside a disturbing image, he is conveying the brutality of the war. The, the figures look like a lot of dead limbs. This painting also inspired by Hans Hoffmann. Hans Hoffmann slap works. It is a type of painting that Hoffmann developed in the last decade of his career, featuring thick Build up rectangle of paint surrounded by fluid fields of color. And as you can see on my painting, I also painted um, a circular moon looking yellow that actually duplicated from Rising Moon painting by Hans Hoffmann. On my painting, I started by outline the, the figure and what I'm gonna paint on the canvas and i started by um after i i'm done outlining the 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 work the art piece i started painting the background i started with red first and then i turned it to the orange part which is um the ground part and after i'm i'm done with the background i started creating the figure that I wanted to paint and lastly I finish up with a little bit of um, shadow with light pink I use light pink as my shadow as you can see on the figure I, I actually painted pink on the figures too like it's the same as uh, Bacon Bacon also use a lot of pink in his painting also
This artwork inspired by Oliver Hearing Areas for Action. For diverse work, Hearing will present his ongoing project, Area for Action, an accumulative exhibition consisting of daily performance, improvisory sculpture, and real-time collaborative artworks created on site with different group of volunteers over several weeks. All right, so these are all my material. This is a red food dye, this is a green food dye, and the last one is purple food dye. Um, so I use this big paper to make a small studio, and I have my participant right here, which is not a human because none of my friends are willing to do this. So I have to be creative and take one of my teddy bears to participate in this art project 